everybody. Hey, everybody. It is uh, Tuesday, March 9. Hope uh, you're doing well. Hope the weekend went well for you. Uh, we have before us an interesting challenge. Uh, we have come upon Psalm 119 in our movement through the book of Psalms, and, and we've sort of been doing the approach of taking one psalm uh, a day. Uh, sometimes the psalms are really small, so we read them a couple times. Uh, one time the psalm was only two verses, so we combined it with the psalm before. Uh, psalm 119 is different. Uh, it is altogether 176 verses. It would take a long time for us to actually go through uh, to go through it in one chunk, although it would be worthwhile, and, and I would encourage you to do that. But what we're going to do is actually break this up into about 30 verses at a time. So we'll spend the better part of a week, maybe a little bit more, uh, with this one single psalm. Uh, and I just want to tell you uh, just briefly that the psalm altogether is about the law and God's Law and the, the 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 writer is praising God for the gift of the law, uh, and and we'll see that through here, uh, through the through the through the psalm itself. It's also it's also what's called an acrostic, which means that um, each section uh, <laughs> the sections are divided up according to a, the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. So if you look at your Bible. Uh, or if you look at my Bible, you might, I don't know if this comes through or not, you might notice that 1 Psalm 19, the first little category there says Aleph. Aleph is the first letter of the Greek, I'm sorry, of the Hebrew alphabet. And then if you turn the page, eight verses later, you'll see uh, Beth, and that is the second letter. That, by the way, Aleph, Beth, sounds a lot like Alpha, Bet. There's a reason for that. That's where we get it. Um, but that's how, and it goes all the way through the Hebrew uh, alphabet. Interestingly, this is how we know uh, the alphabetical order of the Hebrew letters is from from Psalm 119 because this is how it's arranged. So, um, so anyway, let's uh, dig right into it because we've got a little bit of reading to do and listening today as well. But like I say, as we're going to break this up, take it uh, one bite at a time, see what God might have for us. So let's take a moment to, to settle our, our hearts and prepare to hear from the Lord. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep God's statutes and seek Him with all their heart. They do no wrong, follow His ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. Then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart. As I learn your righteous laws, I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. Beth, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws came from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes, as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees, and I will not neglect your word. Third letter, Gimel. Be good to your servant while I live, that I might obey your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not Hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant who are accused, those who stray from your commands. Remove from me their scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight. They are my counselors. The letter Daleth. I am laid low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your word. I gave an account of your ways, and you answered me. Teach me your decrees. 
cause me to understand the way of your precepts, that I might meditate on your wonderful deeds. My soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Keep me from deceitful ways. Be gracious to me and teach me your law. I've chosen the way of faithfulness. I've set my heart on your laws. I hold fast to your statutes, Lord. Do not let me be put to shame. I run in the path of your commands, for you have broadened my understanding. We'll pause there. That's verse 32. Uh, tomorrow we'll pick up with verse 33, starting with the letter He, the letter He, uh, Hebrew letter He. So that's sort of how we'll proceed through this, through this particular psalm. A lot of uh, reflection on the Word of God, the law. Uh, remember, the law itself is not just the Ten Commandments, but the, but in, in, in this writer's perception would have been all of Genesis, Exodus, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That would have been the, that's the Torah, which literally means law. Uh, and so these are the stories and the commands that this writer is thinking about. Well, let's uh, take some time to pray for the day that's ahead. I invite you to join me as we go to God with our prayers. Loving God, we thank you that you make yourself known to us, that you speak to us, that you show yourself to us. Thank you for the gift of your scripture, and the gift of prayer, and the ability to come to you. Lord, as we look at the the day ahead, we pray that you would go with us, that you would reveal yourself to us. Lord, we thank you that you have made, uh, that you have created intention for our lives, that you desire for us to live to, the, to your glory, to be people who pursue you with all of who we are, and we pray that we would do that today. Lord, as we do look at the day ahead, we want to pray for things that are on our head, on our minds and in our hearts. So friends, I invite you to lift up whatever's, whatever you bring today. Lord, hear our prayers. And so, Lord, we do lift up all of our prayers to you, the whole of our lives, offering them to you. Pray that you would receive them, use them to, to build your kingdom here on earth, as it is in heaven. For all of this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, good to, good to be with you today. Uh, God bless you. Hope the week starts well for you or has started well. Uh, take care, and we will see you again tomorrow.